Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExitAutomation.com, and welcome to Selenium Tidbits. So, in this part, we're going to discuss about selecting menus by hovering mouse in Selenium. So, this is a very simple and very useful operation that we will encounter in a lot of situations and scenarios while working with a real-time applications. So, we might be or we may be requiring to hover to any of the controls in the applications menu and then to perform a click operation or something like that. So for doing that, we will be using a hover operation. So that hover method is actually available in org.openqa.selenium.interactions package, which is available and which has the actions class. So as discussed in the previous tidbits, for performing a drag and drop operation using the same package and the actions class. We're going to use the same class and same package to perform the hover, hovering of mouse and performing an operation in the control as well. So let's not waste our time and flip back to Eclipse. So what I'm going to do here is, so this is the same source code and I'm going to just delete this code and I'm going to write a method for performing the hover operation as well. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a method, public static void hover. Let's call this a very super simple name. And let me pass a web element element as the parameter for this method. And I'm going to call this actions class. So this actions class is available in openqa.org.openqa.selenium.interactions package. All right. So for that, okay. One more thing I'm missing. I need to also pass the web driver as the parameter so that I can pass that as the parameter value for this constructor, actions class constructor. Right? And then I'm going to use a method available in actions class called move to element. Did you see that there's a method called move to element? So this will move the mouse to the middle of the element. So the element is scrolled into the view of and its location is calculated using get bounding client rectangle. So this is what we are completely expecting for. So we need our mouse to be moved to the center of the particular element so that this can bring the menu which is available under your application. So this will perform the hovering operation. So we're going to call this method move to element. And the element is nothing but our elements which we have passed in the parameter. And then, as usual, we need to call the perform operations. So this will end the whole action, right? So that's it, guys. So this will do a hover operation. So let's do something. Uh, let me first flip back to our website. So this is, our, my, this is my website, and it has this particular URL. And what it does is, if I navigate to this automation tools, it will bring me up this particular menu. So if you hover to the Selenium, this will bring me these submenus, right? So let me try to hover to this Actions tool menu and see if this works. So for doing that, I need to first identify the control. So for that, just right click and hit Inspect Elements and see what is its ID. Okay, the ID is very pretty simple. It's Automation Tools. So first, I'm, I'm going to write a code for identifying the control. So which is nothing but the web element. Uh, let's call this as a parent menu or just menu is equal to driver dot find elements by dot id and the value of the id is this great and then i need to hover to this particular menu so for that i'm going to call our method which you wrote just now so hover of the element is nothing but the menu right great so it says, oh my god, we need to pass the driver as well. I'm sorry. So driver and the menu. All right. So let me just right click and hit the run as Java application. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't change the URL. So let me close this thing. So this is going to throw me an error. So the URL is this. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it right here so that this will navigate me to the particular page. Now just hit the run as uh, Java application. It navigated to the page. And did you see that it tried to 
somehow bring that menu we'll try to do a debug operation or something like that or what we can do is let's do one more operation let's do one more hover operation to one more control and see if we can actually keep that menu item little hold so for that what I'm going to do is let me first go to this menu item automation tool and let me hover to selenium so let's see what is its ID so it's selenium right so let me call this ID as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to again create one more web element selenium is C equal to driver dot find element by dot ID of so this is the ID all right and let me also hover to this particular selenium all right so if I do this if I do an execute right now all right so it did you see that it it navigated to the menu and also it brought the selenium menu right so it's performing the hover operations but we couldn't able to see it fully so for that we need to write one more method or one more operation which perform the click operation in any of the menu so our quest is let's navigate to the selenium and let's click this selenium web driver so if I click the selenium web driver this will take me to this selenium web driver page so we'll see if this actually works or not so we're going to do one more operation like click operation and see if things works or not so for that I'm not going to touch this particular method which we have written so I'm going to write an altogether new method so let's call this as public static void hover and click so this should be very good name for this particular method but I'm going to use two arguments maybe three arguments so first web driver driver so web element let's call this as element to hover and then I'm going to write one more element where I'm going to click that so element to click right and then I'm going to use this actions class once again new actions of driver great and then I'm going to call this move to action or move to element method and the element is something but our element to hover so this is where I'm going to hover and then I'm going to do a click operation so there is a method called click did you see that it also expects an web element in the next overloaded method of the click so I'm gonna call this guy and here is the element to click right and then I cannot directly call the perform method if I do a perform method calling it will not do the expected operation because there are two composite operations so we're just going to perform a move to element and also we're perform a click operation so we are calling two actions for two different elements so for that we need to call one more method which is available in actions class called build so this will generate a composite actions containing all the actions so far ready to be performed right so this is the method which is very handy to perform a composite operations how does this action come up there all right and then we need to call this perform method great so let me do this let me first hover to the menu and selenium and then I'm going to identify or I'm going to click the selenium web driver so this guy right so what is this selenium web drivers ID let me right click and hit the inspect element so it's training web driver oh great so let me once again write selenium web driver 
c equal to driver dot find element by dot id of selenium web driver great and then instead of calling this hover what i'm going to do is i'm going to call hover and click method so the element to hover is nothing but our selenium right and the element to click is nothing but our selenium web driver great so this will perform two operations for us it will perform a hovering to the selenium menu and also performing a click operation the selenium web driver link but before that we need to also hover to this automation tools menu right so we need to perform three operations here so i'm going to just leave this hover as it is so let me run this and see how things works all right so it's clicking the selenium web driver as you can see here so that's it guys so this is how you can perform the hovering of your mouse to a control and also perform a click operation using emoji element and then performing click and then build methods and also perform methods so we have used three different methods to perform an operations like perf like moving a mouse to a control and clicking it and also performing an operation using build and perform that's it guys Thank you very much for watching the Selenium Tidbits. Stay tuned for more Selenium Tidbits. Have a great day.